The Gregorian Calendar versus the Hebrew Calendar. Sources, Wikipedia, Britannica, and Bizipera. The original Roman calendar consisted of 10 months totaling 304 days, winter being considered a month less period. Around 713 BC, the semi-mythical successor of Romulus, King Numa Pompilius, is supposed to have added the months of January and February, so that the calendar covered a standard lunar year, 354 days. Several months of the Gregorian calendar were named after Roman and Greek gods and two Roman emperors. The rest of the months were named for the season of the year the month occurred or their placement in the calendar, particularly October, November, and December. March continued to be the first month of the year until around 450 BC. January, in Latin, Iannuarius, is named after Janus, the god of beginnings and transitions in Roman mythology. Janus also means time, doorways, passages, and endings. He is depicted as having two heads, one facing the past and one head facing the future. The Roman month Februarius was named after the Latin term februum, which means purification, via the purification ritual Februa held on February 15, full moon, in the old lunar Roman calendar. In Catholic tradition, February is the month of the purification of the Blessed Virgin Mary. March Latin name was Martius, which was named for Mars, the Roman god of war and the ancestor of the Roman people. This month marked the beginning of the season of warfare, and there were many festivals held in his honor throughout the month. April's Roman name came from the Latin Aprilis. This name comes from the verb aprire meaning, to open. It was believed that April was the time when nature began to open up and flower for spring. April was named in honor of Venus, the Roman goddess of love and sexuality. Veneralia was a festival that was held in her honor every year on the first of the month. The month of May or Maeus was named for the Greek goddess Maya, name meaning greater or larger. Her Roman equivalent is the Roman goddess Bona Dea, the goddess of fertility. The festival of Bona Dea was held on the first of May in her honor by the ancient Romans. The Latin name for June is Junius. The month of June was named after the Roman goddess Juno, the goddess of marriage and the wife of Jupiter. Jupiter was the god of the sky and thunder and was the king of the ancient Roman gods. July was named for Julius Caesar. Prior to this, July was called Quintilus, meaning the fifth month, since it was the fifth month of the previous ten-month Roman. Lydia Apollinaris were solemn games held on July 13 in honor of Apollo, the Greek god of music and divination. In the Catholic tradition, July is the month to celebrate the blood of Jesus. August was originally named Sextilis in Latin, meaning six. This month was named for Gaius Octavius Augustus, the first Roman emperor, in honor of his battle triumphs that occurred in this month. September was originally named Septem in Latin, meaning seven. Emperor Charlemagne called this month Harvest Month. September was also called Gerstmanath or Barley Month by the Anglo-Saxons. October or Octo means eight signaling its position in the original Roman calendar. Halloween and many other Roman festivals were celebrated in the month of October. November was named for its position in the original Roman calendar, Novum meaning nine. In Catholic tradition, November is the month of the holy souls in purgatory. The last month of the Julian slash Gregorian calendar was December or Decem in Latin, meaning 10. The Anglo-Saxons referred to this month as Yule month. The ancient Romans celebrated four Aganalia, which were religious observances held in honor of various deities. In addition to the many celebrations of the ancient Romans, the Saturnalia festival was held in the month of December. The Saturnalia festival was held in honor of Saturn, the Roman god of plenty, wealth, and agriculture. This festival is thought to be the origin of the modern celebration of Christmas.
The Hebrew calendar starts in the springtime, whereas the Gregorian calendar begins in the winter. Several months of the Hebrew calendar were renamed and are not the original biblical names. They were adopted during the Babylonian captivity of the Hebrews. Nisan, also known as Abib or Aviv, is the first month of the Hebrew calendar. This month has 30 days and it corresponds to March or April of the Gregorian calendar. This month was named Abib or Aviv in the Bible and was called the beginning of months by God. Biblical references are Exodus 12 verse 2 This month to you the beginning of months, it is the first to you among the months of the year. Exodus 23 verse 15 You shall observe the feast of unleavened bread. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, as I commanded you, at the time appointed in the month Abib, for in it you came out of Egypt, and no one shall appear before me empty. The name Nisan is Sumerian and it means first fruits. In the Babylonian calendar, this month was named Era Nisanu meaning the month of beginning. The first three spring high holidays are celebrated in the month of Nisan, Passover, unleavened bread, and first fruits. Things that happened in this month in biblical history. 1 Nisan, the floodwaters subsided from off the earth Genesis 8 verse 13. 14 Nisan, the Passover is celebrated Leviticus 23 verse 5. 15 Nisan, Exodus from Egypt and the Feast of Unleavened Bread is celebrated Exodus 12 verses 16 to 17, Leviticus 23 verse 6. First Fruits is celebrated Leviticus 23 verses 9 to 16. Miriam, the sister of Moses and Aaron, dies, Numbers 20, 1. Nehemiah talked to King Artaxerxes about returning to Israel to rebuild Jerusalem, Nehemiah 2 verses 1 to 2. Iyar. Iyar is the second month of the Hebrew calendar and its name means rosette or blossom. It has 29 days and corresponds to April or May. Before the Babylonian captivity, this month was called Ziv, a Hebrew name meaning light or glow 1 Kings 6 verses 1 and 6. The second Passover is celebrated during this month. This is a day for people to celebrate the Passover who were either unclean or out on a journey during the first Passover observance in the month of Nisan Numbers 9, 4-14. Things that happened in this month in biblical history. 14 Iyar, second Passover is celebrated Numbers 9, 4-14. 27 Iyar, the rain started for the floodwaters Genesis 7 verse 11. 27 Iyar, the earth was dry from the floodwaters, and Noah and his family left the ark Genesis 8 verse 14. Saban is the third month of the year, it is 30 days, and occurs in May or June. The name Saban means season or time was adopted during the Babylonian captivity. Lastly, the high holiday of Shavuot occurs during this month. Things that happened in this month in biblical history. 6-7 Saban the high holiday of Shavuot is celebrated commemorating the giving of the law on Mount Sinai Leviticus 23 verses 15 to 22, Exodus 33 to 34. Tammuz is the fourth month of the Hebrew calendar, it is 29 days, and occurs in June or July. The Babylonian name Tammuz is named after the Mesopotamian god Arad Dumuzid. The Hebrews in biblical times would fast four times in the year for significant events concerning the destruction of the first and second temples and the destruction of Jerusalem. The first fast day occurs in the month of Tammuz. The 17th of Tammuz commemorates the breaching of the walls of Jerusalem by King Nebuchadnezzar. This day is referred to in the Bible as the fast of the fourth month. The prophet Zechariah prophesied that these fast days would turn from days of mourning and sadness to days of mirth and gladness. Zechariah 8 verse 19, Thus saith the Lord Almighty, the fourth fast, and the fifth fast, and the seventh fast, and the tenth fast, shall be to the house of Judah for joy and gladness, and for good feasts, and ye shall rejoice, and love ye the truth and peace. Things that happened in this month in biblical history. 5 Tammuz, the prophet Ezekiel receives his chariot vision Ezekiel 1. 9 Tammuz, 
The walls of Jerusalem were breached by Nebuchadnezzar 2 Jeremiah 39 verse 2, 52, 6 to 7 KJV. 17 Tammuz, the golden calf, was offered by the Hebrews following the giving of the law on Mount Sinai, and Moses smashing the first Ten Commandment tablets Exodus 24, Exodus 32. 17 Tammuz, the walls of Jerusalem were breached by the Roman Empire. AV is the fifth month of the Hebrew calendar, it has 30 days and occurs in July or August. The name AV means father in Hebrew, however, this month was named the month of Abu or Abu, which also means father in Akkadian language spoken in ancient Mesopotamia during the Babylonian captivity. During this month, the second of the morning fast days of the Hebrews occurs. The ninth of AV is a fast day that remembers the destruction of Solomon's temple and the second temple. This day is referred to in the Bible as the fast of the fifth month Zechariah 8 verse 19. Things that happened in this month in biblical history. 1 AV, the death of Aaron the high priest numbers 33, 38 to 39. 7-10 AV, Solomon's temple was burned down and walls, the Jerusalem was destroyed by the Babylonian 2 Kings 25 verses 8 to 10, Jeremiah 52 verses 12 to 14. 9 AV, the fast of the fifth month. The fast day to commemorate the destruction of the first and second temples. Elul is the sixth month of the Hebrew calendar, it has 29 days and occurs in August or September. The name Elul comes from the Akkadian word for harvest and was adopted during the Babylonian captivity. Things that happened in this month in biblical history. 1 Elul, the prophet Haggai commands the Hebrews to rebuild the temple, following the return of the Hebrews from the Babylonian captivity, Haggai 1 verses 1 to 11. 24 Elul, the Lord stirred up the spirits of Zorobabel, the son of Salathiel, Jesus the son of Hosadak, the high priest, and the remnant of the people to work on rebuilding the temple Haggai 1 verses 14 to 15. Tishri is the seventh month of the Hebrew calendar, it is 30 days and occurs in September or October. Its name comes from the Mesopotamian language Akkadian and it means beginning or to begin. The original biblical name for this month was Athanim or Athanin, 1 Kings 8 verses 1 to 2. Rosh Hashanah, the new year, was celebrated in the past during the month of Tishri, however, this is not the biblical new year that occurs in the month of Nisan in the spring. The month of Ethanim or Tishri holds the third fast day that the Hebrews observed during biblical times. The fast of Gedalia honors the death of the righteous man Gedalia, the governor placed by King Nebuchadnezzar over the people left in Israel following the destruction of Jerusalem. This day is called the fast of the seventh month, Zechariah 8 verse 19. Tishri also has the last three high holidays, Yom Teruah, Yom Kippur, and Sukkot. Things that happened in this month in biblical history. 1 Tishri, Yom Teruah, or the Feast of Trumpets, Leviticus 23 verses 23 to 25. 10 Tishri, Yom Kippur, or the Day of Atonement, Leviticus 23 verses 26 to 32. 15 to 22 Tishri, Sukkot or the Feast of Tabernacles, Leviticus 23 verses 33 to 44. 15 to 22 Tishri, King Solomon dedicated the temple and celebrated Sukkot, 2 Chronicles 5 verses 1 to 3, 7, colon 1, 11. 21 Tishri, the Lord tells Haggai to encourage the people who were sad because the second temple wasn't as glorious as the first, Haggai 2 verses 1 to 10. 27 Tishri, Noah's Ark rested on Mount Ararat, Genesis 8 verse 3. Cheshvan or Marcheshvan is the eighth month of the Hebrew calendar, its name means eighth month in Akkadian. The original biblical name for this month was Bol, 1 Kings 6 verse 38, KJV. This month is between 29 to 30 days long and occurs in October or November. Things that happened in this month in biblical history. 15 Cheshvan, 
King Jeroboam in an attempt to keep his kingdom appointed an alternative feast to Sukkot, which was celebrated on the 15th of the 8th month, 1 Kings 12 verses 32-33. Kislev is the ninth month of the Hebrew calendar, it has 29 to 30 days, and it occurs in November or December. The name of the month is from the Akkadian word Kislamu. In the Bible, this month is referred to as Chasalu, Zechariah 7 verse 1. The Hebrew festival of Hanukkah occurs during this month. This festival commemorates the rededication of the temple after it had been defiled by the Greeks during the Maccabean period. This is not a commanded high holiday by God, however, Yeshua celebrated it as the Feast of Dedication. John 10 verse 22 and 23, then came the festival of dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was in the temple courts walking in Solomon's colonnade. Things that happened in this month in biblical history. For Kislev, the Lord spoke to the prophet Zechariah, Zechariah 7 verses 1 to 3. 15 Kislev, the Greeks set up the abomination of desolation in the temple, 1 Maccabees 1 54. 24. Kislev, Lord spoke to Haggai to tell the people that they were defiled and calls them to live holy, Haggai 2 verses 11 to 24. 25. Kislev, the Greeks desolate the temple by offering pagan sacrifices, 1 Maccabees 1 59, 2 Maccabees 10, 5. 25. Kislev, 3. Tevet, the temple is rededicated to the Lord and Hanukkah is celebrated, 2 Maccabees 10, 1 to 9. Nehemiah was in distress at the state of Jerusalem before the Babylonian captivity returned, Nehemiah 1 verses 1 to 4. Tevet is the tenth month of the Hebrew calendar, it has 29 days and occurs in December or January. The month of Tevet in the Babylonian calendar was called Tebetim meaning the muddy month. Hanukkah celebrations continue into the month of Tevet. Tevet also holds the last fast day of the Hebrews in biblical times. The tenth of Tevet or the fast of the tenth month observes the siege of Jerusalem by King Nebuchadnezzar, Zechariah 8 verse 19, 2 Kings 25 verse 1. Things that happened in this month in biblical history. 1 Tevet, the heads of the mountains were seen as the floodwaters subsided, Genesis 8 verse 5. 25 Kislev, 3 Tevet, Hanukkah celebrations continue, 2 Maccabees 10, 1 to 9. 10 Tevet, the 10th of Tevet, a fast day to remember the siege of Jerusalem by King Nebuchadnezzar, 2 Kings 25 verse 1. Shabbat is the 11th month of the Hebrew calendar. It is 30 days and occurs in January or February. The name of this month is derived from the Hebrew name Sabbat, Zechariah 1 verse 7. Things that happened in this month in biblical history. 1 Shabbat, Moses repeats the Torah to the Hebrews, Deuteronomy 1 verse 3. 24 Shabbat, the prophet Zechariah receives a prophecy from the Lord, Zechariah 1 verse 7. Adar is the twelfth and final month of the Hebrew calendar, it has 29 days and occurs in February or March. The name of this month was adopted during the Babylonian captivity from the name Adaru or Adar. A leap month is sometimes added to the Hebrew calendar. Adar 1 is the added leap month and Adar 2 is the original Adar. During leap years, the festival of Purim is celebrated in Adar 2. Purim or the Festival of Lots commemorates the time when the Hebrews were almost destroyed by Haman by the command of the Persian king Artaxerxes, but the Lord delivered us. This holiday is not commanded by God, but it is a wonderful time to remember our deliverance. Things that happened in this month in biblical history. Esther becomes the queen in the month of Adar, Esther 2 verses 16 to 18. 14 to 15 Adar. Purim or the Festival of Lots is observed, Esther 9 verses 19 to 22. Sources, Wikipedia, Britannica, and by Zippera.